Hey guys, welcome to my channel, um, Yosemite Point. Today's topic I'm going to discuss about the hemochromatosis. Uh, important topic for Yosemite examination. Uh, let me start. Okay, let me define what is hemochromatosis just for a general information. Um, this is the abnormal accumulation of the iron in the parenchymal organs leading to organ toxicity. In this, what you need to remember is autosomal recessive genetic disorder. This is very important point. Um, inheritance is very important. That is autosomal recessive genetic disorder. Okay, autosomal recessive. So the most common age in your family, they give around 30 years to 50 years of age. And but may occur earlier. Okay. Uh, early symptoms include severe fatigue impotence and arthralgia remember in your family they will give history of fatigue that's very important and arth arthralgia okay impotence sometimes they give sometimes they don't but remember about the fatigue and arthralgia and the most important i will tell you the most common signs at the time of presentation are hepatomegaly skin pigmentation and arthritis so skin pigmentation all the time every time they give the skin pigmentation history this is very important and uh, on examination you will find hepatomegaly remember about this point skin pigmentation hepatomegaly arthritis fatigue okay so other features like uh, liver diseases as we discussed skin bronzing skin bronzing hyperpigmentation we discussed diabetes mellitus this is very, also very important it is associated with the hemochromatosis arthropathy especially the chondrocalcinosis chondrocalcinosis amnuria impotence hypogonadism cardiomyopathy these are the things what you need to remember okay important points for your somebody transfer in saturation corresponds to the ratio of serum iron and total iron bending capacity remember this high transfer in saturation is the earliest evidence of hemochromatosis so which is the earliest evidence of hemochromatosis so it's a high transfer in saturation is the transfer in saturation Okay, uh, now the important point is uh, serum iron concentration in a patient with hereditary hemochromatosis is greater than 150 microgram per deciliter. TIBC ranges from 200 to 300 in hemochromatosis affected patients. Okay, the affected, the hepatic iron concentration in hemochromatosis affected patient ranges from 5000 to 30,000 microgram. Okay. The normal value you can see is 100 to 2200. Okay, serum ferritin levels elevated higher than the 200 microgram per liter in premenopausal women and 300, 200 in a premenopausal and 300 in men and a postmenopausal indicate primary iron overload due to hemochromatosis. These are the points. No need to remember about the exact levels because you can check in the lab findings. In the US usually they give the lab uh, the values okay very important genetic test for C282Y and H63D mutation are widely available radiographs demonstrate cardiomegaly increased pulmonary vascular markings in patients with hemochromatosis skin biopsy very important skin biopsy for the diagnosis is very important in this what you need to remember is Remember, never take skin biopsy from the legs because iron deposition in that area may be due to stasis. Uh, liver biopsy with biochemical determination of hepatic iron concentration and calculation of hepatic iron index as well as histological evaluation with iron stain pulse portion blue. Very important for you. Yes, step one was previously considered creatinine diagnosis for hemochromatosis currently the diagnosis can be confidently based on a genetic testing for c282y remember this nowadays it's a c282y mutation okay how do you treat it is a phlebotomy right now i will ask you the question when do you use def defroxamine you have two options one is a phlebotomy one is defroxamine tell me 
right patient who cannot tolerate phlebotomy can undergo um uh, okay thank you so much for watching my video please do subscribe like and comment